This video is instruction on what to do once you have begun receiving assignments by your students. Uh, first thing you want to do, of course, is to make sure that you're logged into rrmiddleschool.org. If not, uh, go log in. And then once you are, uh, you click on the tab. It'll be either Drive or Docs on the top of the page and that will take you to your Google Drive page. And notice that we have started to receive some assignments by some students here, but they're not in any kind of order. What will happen is that typically the system will default to um, uh, ordering these by when they come in. So what you're going to want to do is to click on sort and then click on title and notice now that everything is organized just right by title. All of your first blocks are together, your second blocks are together, and notice that they're also in alphabetical order. If we scroll down we'll see that we have one untitled document which means one of our students, old Fender Dent here, did not title their document properly. So the first thing we're going to want to do is to put these things in the proper folder. So this is the first document and this is the first block so I'm going to highlight or check each one of those and then out here and then up here I'm going to click more and I'm going to click on organize and then it's going to go in the first block folder under the first document folder. So we'll click that and then we'll click apply changes. Now you'll notice now that it includes block one first doc folder here. So let's say that I had included Saul Good in that one. I would notice that I have somebody from the second block in the first block file. I would have to rectify that. Okay so once that's done you click on more and click on don't show in activity list and I'll show you what that looks like later. Then you want to uncheck these items and go on to block two and we'll repeat the process. So we go to block two, block two first doc, apply changes, right click, don't show an activity list, uncheck, and then we're going to go down here to the untitled document uh, organize, that's going to go in bad title, apply changes, and then um, we're going to want to click on don't show an activity list. So now what we've done relative to the don't show an activity list, if we want to look at all new documents that have not been processed by us, we can click on activity over here and notice there is only one that I use for myself here and um, no other assignments are here which means they've all been filed and we will hope filed properly. So now we're going to go back to my drive again and now we have just the uh, folders here. I'm going to go into block one. I'm going to go into uh, first Google Doc and I have three documents here. So uh, let's take a look first of all at first first and if you watched uh, the video on doing the first document you'll notice or you'll remember that Betty went in and made a change on hers and um, now if there is some issue as to when these things came in or changes were made you can go up to file and go to see revision history and you'll notice that uh, Uh, this was done today at 8.38 a.m., which is the change that was made on it. And if we want to show more detailed revisions, we can go here. And this is every time that Betty went in and did something. So we go here. I uh, restore that uh, revision. Well, that's trout. We go here. That's still trout. We can go here. Oh, apparently we took everything out. We can go here, restore this revision, and that is the salmon revision. And why is that not restored? Restore this revision, so we've done that. 
and there we are. Okay. So anyway, that's just a way to track how students, what students are doing to uh, uh, their documents. Now what I do is I will, uh, on the title, uh, I'll open it up and I'll put in the score for the assignment. And in this case, she did everything correctly, so she gets a 100. We'll close that out and um, we'll go to uh, students documents, students uh, first document, that looks fine. We'll click on that. We'll type in the score of 100. Click OK and uh, close uh, the document out and then uh, you go girl. Oh, just put in strawberry. I wanted a complete sentence. So Hugo is not going to get a very good grade. We'll give Hugo a 50 on that one. And then we'll close that out. Uh, then what you can do is you can open up your grade book. Oh, wait, excuse me. First of all, then sort by title. So again, now these are in alphabetical order. You can open up your grade book and uh, have two of these uh, and have two screens open one that has uh, your Google Docs here and then you put your gradebook over here and you can simply copy the scores. Um, and so then that's done and then we go on to uh, block two and uh, open it up and we'll go through the same process here. Here's Saul Good. Uh, looks like Saul Good for Saul Good. And um, so we'll open that up and we'll give him a 100 and uh, click OK and uh, then we're going to go on to pupil and uh, well it looks like pupil is a good pupil and they get a hundred as well click OK now the only person that is getting hurt here so far is uh, Fender Dent who has this uh, document in bad title and now old Fender is going to have to go in and change that and then come to me and tell me that she changed it and then I can move it to the proper folder and give her the uh, proper grade. And that is it. Again, that's how I handle it. It's not the way to handle it. Uh, you may have a better idea. If you do, I would love to hear it. Thank you very much.